Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm of course Hickory the Drunken Underwhelming, and welcome back to Hickory Plays. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial. This one is going to be about power. Uh, so what we've done is I've come back to my season two base because it's huge and beautiful, and uh, yeah, nothing works anymore since the power update. So I figured this would be a great place for us to figure it out. The first thing we'll work on is getting our oil pump back on because you know you want to keep those. Uh, keep those mineral extractors a running and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to placeables we're gonna go to power now I am doing this in free build I will not be doing that in my season three let's play um, but I put a hundred and like fifty something episodes into this base and I want to make sure that it continues to work but we're not coming back here because we're already in season three we're gonna start by putting down one of those a control panel now whoops we need to switch off the upgrade tool. That'll allow us to run wires. If we access the control panel, it will tell us power stored, power capacity, power in, power out, power available. And we have a lot of power available here, a lot of storage. I have 13 batteries, 91 turbines, and four uh, solar panels. So for that is going to be your main controller. Um, we already have one of those in the base. But in areas like this, I have found that it works best to actually... Uh, put a separate power panel there uh, otherwise you'd have to run wiring out from the main base to out here there we go that oops nope, go back okay we can rename oh we gotta re we'll rename the that uh, oil uh, let's name it oil rig that works for me kind of like that and we will Turn oil rig on, and now that works. Now that one we don't need to switch on because we want it to stay up all the time, uh, much like these two. Now we have uh, two, nope, just one. An oil extractor over here. Now this would be kind of expensive if we were building it. We will look at that real quick. Control panels, four iron ingots, two copper, two cobalt, and eight screws. So at this point in the game, this deep, we had so many resources it wouldn't matter anyways, but in the essence of time, we'll be doing this in free build. Uh, the junction is two iron, two cobalt, uh, two copper, six screws. Electrical relay for when a wire won't reach far enough is one iron, one copper, two electrical, and four screws. And a wall switch is one iron, one copper, four screws. Now, your power comes directly to the control panel. There's no, at least yet, there's not a... Uh, a need in order to uh, run any lines from your power sources to that. Uh, I'm pretty sure even in the in the thing they said that you'll take take it as a uh, free free uh, freely that the power just shows up in these things. So from there we'll need another junction box right there. Very nice. Okay. And oh, we will go from here to here and there to there. Very nice. We can name this junction box oil extractor. And we are good to go. We turn it on and now we have power to our oil extractor. Which has 100 in it. So I'll grab that. Okay. Next up is the water house. We're going to be doing the exact same thing. Inside is where we're actually going to run series of pa uh, panels and stuff like that. So that'll be getting a little more complicated. But luckily, these control panels and junction boxes can go on the beam of a foundation. Which I was nervous about because it was going to look real ugly trying to run power uh, down. Or power lines down. If we went like that, we could just go there to there. And there to there. And then switch back. We'll rename this junction box Waterhouse. Much like they have the unit named. And we'll turn that on. And now we have running water again. Very nice. Okay, now is where it's going to start to get fun and complicated. Because we have a metric ton of lights that we need to get all rigged in. Do we have many? No, we don't have too many on the first floor. It's going to get more complicated on the second floor, that's for sure. What we can do is we're going to... There's two right there. 
number three. Okay, our main power box. This was our original. Everything used to just run off here, which was very, very nice, but that is not the case anymore. So we're going to do is see if we can fit two junction boxes right there, power. In fact, you can't. Although it doesn't stay up for a second one, like most things do. It's always interesting. Okay, another junction box, and we're gonna put also put in a wall switch for each of these. So power, uh, nope, that was a relay. But we'll be getting to those in just a minute. That's a whole nother level of fun. Okay, wall switch. Make sure it's facing the right way here. Because these things matter in the apocalypse, we all know. Uh, so this one is going to be uh, work lights. And this one is going to be the stone grinder. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to run a power. We're actually going to see if this uh, wire fits or we need to put in a relay. We'll pull it from there. that does work okay won't need quite as many relays as I thought we may have that one goes to there very nice that one goes there and that goes to that switch and that goes to Why is it not connecting to the stone grinder? There. Is there, a <laughs> there might be a trick to this and I just don't know where it goes. I'm trying to jump up there. There we go. Finally kicked over. Oh, it's because I accidentally took all the stuff in the, uh, whoops. Yep, accidentally grabbed all that sand out of there. And that's, uh, like, that's why I'm moving so slow. This is weird. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this line of tutorials. I know they're not perfect, but that's, uh, what else do you expect from a drunk magician? about having fun in this game, but I figured since I kind of figured this out earlier, I might share it. Anyway, so next up, we are going to need to get ourselves a wall relay so we can get some of these lights going, because it's getting dark outside. We definitely need lights now. So, let's put an electrical relay up here. Stick one there. I think we're probably going to end up sticking one there okay we'll try that see if it works so what we'll do is we will pull from there right up to that one come on of course it doesn't want to oh yeah let's move that Okay. Not quite the prettiest, but we'll figure it out as we go. Go from there to... Where'd I put the other one? <laughs> uh, that's fun. Okay. So at least it's running along the ceiling. It's not a... Oh, I wonder if that's going through the floor upstairs. But now we can flip that on. Nope, that light should come on. Did it. 
Hmm. Work lights for that one. Oh, because this, yep, I keep forgetting. I actually need to turn this, uh, need to turn these junction boxes on. That would make this work. There we go. And now we have light over there. Okay, so now we can run another one. Uh, another line from there right across. So let's try that. See how that looks. Can I not relay these? Huh. Okay. So we are trying something different. Um, yep, confirm. Good, that only got rid of that one. Placeables power. Sorry, not so much as a tutorial as uh, me showing some stuff and figuring other stuff out on the fly. Which, I'm not going to lie, is I'm having fun. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Offer a little help I can, anyways. Okay, let's try this again. Pull from that relay. To that relay. Now I should be able to pull from there. There, yes. Nice, and I can pull another from there over to here. Pull from there to there. Gets that one going. And let's see one last time. Oh, I thought there was another light in here somewhere. Maybe there's only the two down here. Okay. That doesn't look too awful. The lights work. Let's go try it upstairs where it's a little more light centric. We got a few more, right? One, two. I guess not even that many, really. No, next floor has more. Okay, and that has all the fridges. So that'll be fun. We'll get that one checked out too. But, placeables, uh, basically setting up the same dealie. We're going to set another control panel right here. Uh. Okay, now we throw another junction box with a switch. Some power. Junction box. And, yeah. So weird that it always starts backwards, but okay, it's gonna be second floor lights. Switch over. This is going to be oh, the second floor lights. And we'll flip that on. Okay, now we're going to go put in some relays. So, placeables, power, electrical relay. Put one right on the ceiling right there pretty much runs straight up the wall stick another one there and then that one should be able to relay out to both of those lights so let's try that should be good to go so from that one to that one that one there, and there, there. Nice, it works. And from there, 
Okay, this is not nearly as bad as I had imagined this was going to be going. But let's see how we do upstairs, because there up there we got we got a bit more work to do on the third floor than we did on the second. And I say this base still looks beautiful. I am pretty happy with it. Okay, so lights really start there. There's one, two. Man, that looks like it. I did not go crazy with lighting in here. Okay, so let's, uh, this one we'll set up right over our food prep table. And we're going to need, first, obviously, a control panel. Okay, and then we're going to need two junction boxes. Put one there. And power. Junction box there. Now this is going to be upstairs lights. And this one is going to be refrigerators. Okay, and now we need to put one switch for the lights, because that would make sense. Power. Uh, no, we are going to need relays, though, so we might as well put one there. Okay, right, we'll try that. Might need another one. Got a wall switch. Spun around. Okay, this one's uh, upstairs lights. Except, okay, let's run some wire and see if this works. So we're gonna go from. Oops. Go from the main box, the junction, the junction to the controller. There to there. And there out to Okay, that does run. Nice. And there there. Be interesting to see how these wires look from uh, the next floor up as well. Okay, is that long enough? Nice. Okay. Now I just got to turn that junction box on. So let's switch tools. Go to the electrical panel. Turn on the fridge one. And the upstairs. Okay. Now we just got to turn on that light switch. No? Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, I didn't turn on the upstairs lights one. That's right. Now those lights work. Last will be the fridges. Now we want to keep these ones kind of neat and organized, so... Uh, did I just see... Oh, I had a wire in my inventory. I wonder... Oh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So electrical relays, we're going to want one... There. 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 close to the corners we can get. Uh, yes, this probably is a lot of unnecessary wire, but so is having uh, 
pretty unnecessary to have five fridges. Uh, lastly, I should have put one right up here. Placeables. Power. Oh, come on. Just get comfy. There we go. Okay, now finally we run wiring from there to there. There to there. There down here. From that one to that one. There to Come on. Okay. Try this again. Guess we'll hook them up after. That one. That one. That one. To that one. Okay. Figure out how to hook the fridge up now. Oh, okay. I just hit E on it. That's right. Doesn't actually like show it lining up right. That's weird. Oh well. Okay. Last question is, yep, <laughs> everything in my fridges went bad because of the power. Oh, other than some onion soup, okay, some onions. Okay, nice. And some veggie salad. Yeah, so I've still got plenty of time on it. But yeah, I do have a fridge and a half full of bunk food. There was a warning about that. That doesn't uh, surprise me all that much. But yeah, that is us and lit. Um, I could do the top floor, but I feel like I've been running on along about this enough. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. This has been the Season 2 main base. I do enjoy this base a whole lot. I've had a lot of fun this season building it out. It's kind of a shame I never did much up here. And, uh, yeah, I thought I had a lot more ceiling lights back in the, uh, when I lived here, but I guess not. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty decent way to organize your wiring. It does take a ton of resources. And, uh, yeah, that's time, time and resources. But by the time you're at the point where you're like, hey, I want my, uh, I want my electric to look good. You're pretty deep in the game anyways. That's all I got. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I have, of course, Igor the Drunken Underwhelming. I will see you guys in the next tutorial or in the next Let's Play. Until then, cheers.